So what do you all think about Reno? What do you think he's the, <laughs> the, the best? Uh, the best thing is, of he's course, shy. he is very shy, <laughs> unassuming. But he's always uh, color coordinated. You notice the, the whole purple thing going on here with the logo. And I love that, Reno. And uh, your passion and what you've done for this community is uh, really remarkable. I'm honored to be here. Uh, I was asked to spend a few moments with you uh, after this nice lunch to talk about education and talk about the great works of this academy. And I want to bring it into context um, in a different kind of word. Um, I'm going to use the word sustainable. We use sustainability quite a bit at our company when we're talking about our environmental efforts, but there's another uh, context, another definition of sustainability, and that would be the sustainability of communities. And I want to focus on that for a moment because it really is the key uh, to the future, I think, of this community here or any community, at least it's a philosophy at MGM. We believe that our future is inextricably tied uh, to the future of the communities in which we operate. One cannot prosper without the other. Uh, one will fail without the success of another. Uh, we've seen this happen time and time again around the country and around the world where uh, communities have not been invested in, even in good times, uh, and when the bad times come, and they eventually, inevitably will, uh, those communities sadly uh, do not survive. Think of the Rust Belt, uh, think of parts of the world where uh, that has not happened uh, in the right way. So here we are in Las Vegas, a community that's grown so rapidly and so wonderfully for so many decades until the Great Recession, uh, and then we, uh, we were exposed. Uh, for the flaws of our past. Uh, we had underinvested in education in this community. We'd underinvested in medicine. We had underinvested in infrastructure. We've underinvested in culture. Um, and we're paying uh, for that right now. So when I think about what I do for my daily job and really how I try to conduct my life, I like to look at things very clinically uh, with an open eye uh, because if you don't uh, acknowledge uh, the problems, you cannot come up with solutions. We have a problem in this community uh, that we've underinvested in education for too long. We have a problem that we have not invested in our young men and women uh, and encouraged them to stay in our community, uh, to set down roots in this community, and so many of our greatest talent have left. They've gone other parts of the country, other parts of the world, uh, because they've found better opportunities elsewhere. We've underinvested in lower education. We've underinvested in higher education. And so how do we change all these if, in fact, you agree with me that there are a problem? I believe uh, that excellence breeds excellence. I'm not a big fan of numbers when it comes to education. I'm not a big fan of uh, lowering the bar so everyone can jump in. Now, you might disagree with me. That's a point of uh, a discussion. Um, but I think you have to set some goals uh, and you have, to, you have to reward excellence. You have to identify where excellence exists in individuals or in programs or in schools or in companies. Uh, and then you have to reward excellence by investing in that excellence. If you reward excellence by investing in it, it will breed excellence in other areas. So in my way of looking at education is similar to other things that I look at. Uh, I look for uh, pockets of excellence, invest in that, celebrate that, uh, encourage that, because I believe it will uh, it will encourage others to be excellent in their field of work, their field of study, uh, and in their daily lives. This program that Reno and this board has put together uh, fits squarely within uh, my philosophy of rewarding excellence. And so that's one reason why I think this is very important. The other is, how do we invest in ourselves? What should we do? What is the commitment that we should make to a community? Now, individually, we, we make commitments. Collectively, as companies, if you're part of an organization, make commitments. Uh, we have many companies represented here. I'll just speak uh, for one second on MGM, because I happen to know that a little bit better. Um, we do this. Uh, do we do it enough? Probably not. We could always do more. But one case is we do this at UNLV. Um, we set up a scholarship foundation 
uh, for the most excellent students of UNLV. We, it's a couple years in running, and so we are rewarding excellence. We're not giving scholarships and financial aid to every student at UNLV uh, because a lot of them don't deserve it from the perspective that we look at from this uh, criteria that we've established, but we do give quite a bit of money away there. We provide leadership training in our company um, in a couple of ways. Uh, we identify our best and brightest and put them into leadership roles and into a leadership program. In fact, some of the, uh, the men and women today in this room are part of that program. We invest an awful lot of money and an awful lot of time because we think that's time well spent, money well spent, because we believe we're going to get a return on that investment from those employees of MGM. We invest in our MAP program where we look for undergraduates and graduates uh, of graduate schools around the country. We bring them in. We have about 40 of them in-house right now. Uh, we guarantee them a job. Uh, we pay them well and they work throughout our organization. Uh, and some of our best people at our company today uh, in senior management positions, running properties, senior corporate positions, were actually MAP students 10, 15, or 20 years ago. But we can always do more. Here's my point to you, anyone that has uh, an interest in investing in young kids. Um, look for the talent, uh, but tell that talent uh, it's a two-way street. We will invest in you. Uh, we will identify and invest in you in so many different ways. There are programs throughout our community. Uh, this program is a wonderful example of that. But you got to invest too. This isn't a one-way street. This isn't a handout. Um, if we're willing to invest in you, you've got to invest in the community. Find a charity. It doesn't matter what. Get involved. Put money to work. If you don't have money, put your time to work. If you don't have time, put your intellect to work and put it all to work together. Because we have very serious issues in this community. I and mean, if we don't work towards solving those issues, they're just going to linger year after year after year. Reno mentioned that we've tried to remake the company a little bit, and we've done that. Um, we've established for ourselves a set of core values. There are only three, so it's not hard to remember. Uh, we look at integrity, excellence, and teamwork. Um, and a lot of it breeds out of those three words and what that means for us. We establish for our company a mission and a vision for where we want to be. We've established for our company that we believe in corporate social responsibility. We believe that we need to invest into our communities in order to succeed. We think it's not only the right thing to do, we think it's actually you can make a very good business case for that investment. Because as I said earlier, if the communities are doing better, uh, the companies that are operating within those communities can't help but benefit from that ultimately. So my message is, and the final one is that if I can help in any way uh, in this effort or in any effort as it relates to what I care about, which is building communities, investing in education, and investing in medicine, improving our cultural options, in fact, improving the quality of life in the communities in which we operate. If I can do anything to that goal, uh, Reno, I'm all in. In fact, I can't say no to Reno anyway. Um, <laughs> but uh, this is a worthy cause. Uh, it's well thought out. Uh, it's a nascent young effort. It uh, just has that entrepreneurial spirit, uh, which is so great about Las Vegas. And that is my final thought. As great as the challenges there are in this community, and uh, make no mistake, they are very large, um, there's a can-do attitude here uh, that does not exist in most any other place that I have been. I grew up on the East Coast. If we tried to start a cancer institute in Connecticut, we'd still be talking about it 10 years later. Uh, so many different efforts um, that would seem <coughs> impossible because of bureaucracy, because of inertia, because of the lack of generosity of the community are very, very possible here. Uh, we solve big problems, and this is a big problem, education. We can solve this problem too. If we all work together and work with programs like uh, this program, uh, and if we do that, uh, I think we'll have a better tomorrow. So Reno, thank you very much for letting me be here, and good luck with this effort. We'll be following you. Thank you.